Especially when she reckless And babe, you're my bestest friend Yeah, she my bestie My love for you is endless Nobody else can end it And when I get the money back Hey y'all, what is up? Welcome back to my channel today. We are doing a wear test. We are playing in the new Fashion Fair products. I am extremely excited about this. I know y'all are as well. I did a live first impressions already. I'll make sure to leave that video down below in the description box, but just trying out the cream to powder foundation. So I have had these both for a week now. I've tested them. You guys know how I like to do my wear test. Before I do my official wear test, I like to test it out for a week in salon, different situations, and then I will show you what things are looking like doing the wear test. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do this very similar to how I did my first impressions on my live video, cause I was gonna do them separately, but I feel like it's cool if you guys can kinda see them side by side. So I'm going to put the cream to powder foundation on the right side of my face, and then the stick foundation on the left side of my face. That way you can watch them both throughout the day, and you can see, okay, which one you feel looks better, or which one you feel is best suited for you. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Sorry, the sun is beaming in my room today. So I'm like trying to dodge the sun. All right, so on the right side here, we're gonna go ahead with the cream to powder. I got the shade Brown Sugar Babe in the cream to powder, just simply because the next shade, which was Fine Chestnut, it looked like it would have been too deep. However, in the stick foundation, I got the shade Fine Chestnut because Brown Sugar Babe in the stick foundation, it just looked too olive for my skin tone. So of course, I always like to read the descriptions on what they say the undertones are. Most importantly, you need to know your undertone. If you're struggling with knowing your skin undertone, how to pick your foundation shade, I always leave the link to my Keep It Simple Makeup Guide. It's available on my website. Click there, purchase it, and it goes through everything from brows, skin tear, skincare, foundation, all that stuff. So knowing your undertone is always key because when you know your undertone, it makes foundation picking your shade so much easier. So know your undertone, read the descriptions, but your eyes are never going to lie. So just because something says, oh yeah, it's a warm golden undertone, like the stick foundation just said, and I swatched it and it looked off, your eyes will never tell you a lie. So let me go ahead and for the cream to powder foundation, I like to just use my sponge here. It does come with one of those little sponges in there. However, I would never use that. And it's very, very simple to apply. You just press it into the skin. Now I will say it does take a little bit longer just simply because you're just, you know, you're trying to press it across your skin so that it's evenly all the way around. But other than that, it blends out beautifully. Like you won't have any issues trying to blend it out. And then I also made mention that on the live I did when I was testing this while I was doing the wear test, the brown sugar babe on camera well it's not doing it right now maybe it's just because i'm in the daylight so there's more light versus when i was doing my life it was at nighttime on camera it looked it popped off as if it was a little bit too warm, but with the natural eye in person, it was fine. Again, whenever you're watching my videos or anyone else's videos, keep that in mind, okay? We have cameras, lighting, I've got a ring light, two softbox lights, so all of that is going to always enhance the way that a product looks, so. This looks beautiful on the skin. And my little hack for myself whenever I pick my foundation shades, I always tend to go with a shade that is more so closer to the inner of my face because the center of my face is a little bit lighter. Um, I don't ever like to go darker than my skin tone just simply because when my oil pushes through, it's going to manipulate it a little bit. That's just the nature of having oily skin. So keep that in mind as well. And y'all know I don't ever bring foundation all the way up to my five head because my five head is significantly darker than the rest of my face. So we just put a little bronzer up there and we keep it pushing. All right, beautiful. Now, I do think that if you have dry skin and you are using this, you probably don't need to set it just simply because 
It is a very natural finish. It's not dewy whatsoever. It's more so that satin finish. So you probably could get away without even setting it because even looking at it on my skin, like I don't see any shine, but it's not matte though. It's not crazy matte. Okay, now on the left side here, we're going in with the stick foundation. And this was very easy to blend out as well. Gave me no issues. And I am going to blend this out with a brush. Just super, super easy, effortless to blend. You don't have to work hard. And as you can see, this is definitely more so neutral than the right side of my face but it's not significantly off that's the thing i think so pe so many people get so hung up on looking for the most perfect the something that matches your skin 100 percent. you're never going to find something that matches your skin 100 percent. okay it's makeup <laughs> you want to find something that complements your skin enhances your skin obviously you don't want something that's way too light or way too dark but understand that it is makeup y'all <laughs> All right, so this is the left side of my face. Again, with this, I could totally pull this off too. As you can see, my neck here is definitely more golden than this side. But like I said, by the time my oil pushes through, we put all our products on, it's fine. And then here is the right side of my face here, which I think that is more on par with my face. But at the end of the day, no one's gonna know. No one is going to know. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little concealer on really quick, busting out an old fave, the Smashbox Studio Skin. I'm going to be doing a concealer roundup video here, like top concealers I've tried so far this year because I know I was kinda smack, smacking y'all on the face with concealer videos, so. <laughs> We will do that coming up real soon. Holidays are around the corner. I can't believe it. My birthday is around the corner. My birthday is October 18th. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for my birthday this year. I will be 33 years old. I cannot believe that. 33. So, probably do a little something something. It always cracks me up because people always assume that I am like 25 years old. I'm kind of like, baby, mm -mm. <laughs> I am not that. Um, I guess, thank you. Like I'm never someone who's flattered when they, someone thinks, oh, I thought you were like 25 or 23 years old. And I guess maybe just because I'm aware of my headspace <laughs> when I was 25, 23 years old. So for me, that's what I think of, and that is not at all a compliment, but I know for most people, it's just a way of saying, oh, well, you look young, and I'm just kind of like, well, 33 is not old. <laughs> I mean, it's all subjective, right? It's how you feel, because I don't think 40s are old. I don't even think 50s are old. It's all a matter of how you feel. All right, so now I am going to set up under my eyes the concealer. I'm not gonna use the loose powder up under my eyes. Y'all know I am not a fan of putting loose powder up under the eyes in general. The only one that I can get away with that I will do is the Tatcha powder up under my eyes, which I like that. I just keep that up under, um, up under. I keep that in my client kit because that is where I use it the most on clients. Okay, now we are going to set the rest of my face. We're gonna be using the loose setting powder and this is truly 20. And it's not, I want it to get something as close to yellow as possible. And speaking of holidays, you guys know the Sephora sale is coming up soon. So I would encourage y'all to just hold off on any makeup purchases right now, if you can, just simply because the sale always happens in November, all right? So go ahead and make your list, and of course, I will do a video, products that I think you should buy and things that are on my list because I'm noticing some more products are still coming out and a couple of things have definitely caught my eye, so I will be 
holding out as well. I know I already have like a couple of things I will be buying because in October, I tend to buy a lot of things. Like that's like, it's my birthday month. So I kind of make it like, I'll have a birthday haul or a fall haul. I tend to do that. Okay, so the face is set and this is what everything is looking like. So now that I have concealer on, I chose a concealer that was just very close to skin tone because I didn't want anything that was too bright. I really want to focus on the skin. So you can see, you can't even tell I have on two different foundations. You can't tell. It looks identical. So it just goes to show you by the time you put it on, you put your powder on, concealer, everything blends together seamlessly. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup and then we'll be right back. Okay, I am back and this is what the face is looking like on my eyes. I have on Charlotte Tilbury Queen of Glow palette. For my under eyes, I told you I set with the LYS Brilliance Powder. For my face, I want it to keep it very, very minimum because I want to make sure that whenever we're doing foundation wear tests, you can really see what things are looking like. So I only use my Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Palette and Captivate. So I put this on for my bronzer and then I use this shade over here for my blush. And that is all we got on the face. For lips, I have on the NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade area. I have not been able to find this in Sephora or Ulta for a long time. So yesterday I got on the website NARS and I found it and I'm assuming it's being discontinued because these are half off on the site. A lot of the shades are already gone. However, they still have this shade, which is area. I've been wearing this for, this will be my third fall season wearing this. Um, so since it was half off, I bought two because this is, my go-to. I love these because they are very, very comfortable on the lips. It's not a liquid lipstick, so it's not gonna dry down. It's not matte, so you will get some transfer. However, it's very, very creamy. It gives a little shine. I enjoy them. They are my favorite, and I'm sad to see that NARS is going to obviously be discontinuing it. However, we got two, so we're Gucci, all right? So this is what the face is looking like. I will be sure to check in. I got a little bit of a long day. Today's a weird day. So I start work at 11.30, and then I have a two-hour gap, and then I, have, I work till about 6.30. Anywho, it happens sometimes. So I will definitely be checking in with you guys when I get into the salon. All right, you guys, um, almost forgot. I was vlogging today. I am on break from the salon. I got like two hours to kill. So probably just gonna go to Target and try not to blow my whole wad because y'all know how it is when you go into Target. However, this is what we're looking like. I haven't done any blotting, haven't touched my face. I hope this lighting is okay. I'm kind of struggling right now with the lighting situation. Okay, so this is our cream to powder side. This is our stick foundation side. Everything is looking good. I have no complaints. It's amazing how these look identical. I tell y'all, by the time you throw all your products on, everything comes together, nine times out of 10, it always works out. So this is what we're looking like. I will check back in probably when I get back into the salon. And then okay, back in the salon. Just wanted to show you what some more lighting. It is going on two o'clock right now. So this is what my face is looking like. I don't feel ridiculously greasy. I don't feel like I need to blot. Everything is holding up and looking really good. I am pleased, very, very pleased with this. Whoo, what a day, what a day. All right, so it is currently 8.28. I got off of work at 6.30, rushed home because I had a posing session with my coach at seven. Then I was just kind of sitting around because I've been on my feet since 9.30 this morning. So here is what we're looking like, y'all. First of all, I have not done any blotting on my face all day, nor have I felt like I needed to do any blotting. Um, I don't know if it's the setting powder that is just ridiculously oil controlling or what. However, the fact that I have not blotted my face all day, nor did I feel like I need to blot my face, that is something serious for me because I am an oily skin girl. So this side over here is our pressed powder side, and this side over here is the stick foundation. They both look fantastic. I think with whichever one that you get, 
you're going to love. Um, it is a rare occasion that I can find a stick foundation that actually works for my skin type. Most um, stick foundations tend to be a little bit more emollient, um, tend to be suited for drier skin types. However, this right here, fantastic. Now, the weather is a little bit cooler here. We're kind of starting to transition into fall, so it's not 98 degrees, crazy humidity. Today was maybe like what? 84 80 ish so it wasn't anything crazy so please keep that in mind because i know some of you guys live in warmer climates and you're always wondering how does this hold up in the heat this has not been tested in true north kakalaki humidity heat okay we're just transitioning in, transitioning into fall but what i can say for right now at the moment that i'm trying it the stick foundation held up well on my oily skin now the cream to powder this personally is my favorite and here's why i just really loved how this made my skin look stick foundation was not bad at all however there was just something about this how it just laid on my skin it made everything look nice and smooth and seamless it made my pores look flawless i just really 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 enjoyed how this made my skin look and i am not going to be keeping both of these just simply because i know i would never get through them um because i like the cream to powder i'm going to be keeping this one and returning the stick foundation again it's not bad however I do not need two foundations. That's just not realistic. Y'all know I'm honest with y'all. I always talk about being savvy with your money, with your money and your makeup purchases. So it doesn't make any sense for me to have both because this one is my favorite. We're going to keep this one. So down below, let me know your thoughts. Have you tried it? Are you gonna try it? Did it work good on your skin? Are you liking the cream to powder? And then also that's the other thing too, I have never had a cream to powder product in my collection. I've had a couple of stick foundations here and there, but this is something that is also very unique to my collection. And at first I thought I was gonna return the setting powder, but I'm gonna keep this because I think this was just really, really keeping things together today during the work day. So that's all I got. I am exhausted. All of the products will be linked down below in the bottom. Y'all know the deal. Keep it simple and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.